Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will learn how to create set expression for week to date and previous week to date. To create this set expressions, we need start date and end date. So first of all, I will find out start date for week to date. My start date for week to date is week start today. As we haven't mentioned here, the second and third parameter our week will start from Monday because by default the third parameter is zero. If you want to learn about week start and weekend, please check my previous videos on week start and weekend. And the same way, if I will use the same expression for my previous week to date, I have to use minus one. Minus one means week start of my previous week my end date for week to date is today's date and my end date for previous week to date is today minus 7 because I have to go to 7 days back. We will look into this format later on. First of all, I will try to implement week start. I will say sum of sales and now I will implement the format which I am using for set analysis and I will say order date equal to greater than equal to dollar sign expansion which is for my start date and less than equal to dollar sign expansion for my end date. I will also bypass all calendar field so I will say order year, order quarter, order month year order month, order week, order week, day and I will also mention here number format which I need this. Now only thing left for week to date set expression is I have to get my start date and end date. So that I will get it from my KPIs. I will simply mention my start date here. Please make sure that you use equal sign here. If you will not use equal sign, then you will not get at the bottom, you will not get this date. If I will remove equal sign, you can see dollar sign expansion is not giving us any date. And the same way for the end date, which is today's date, I have to use today. I will copy this expression and I will paste here for previous week to date. Only difference for week to date and previous week to date is the start and end date. Now I will use start date from my KPI and I will paste inside my set expression with equal sign and I will use my end date with equal sign. So first of all, we will try to verify week to date result. Our total is 11242. So for my week to date, my start date is 14th and end date is 18th. So from 14th to 18th, if I will select this date, I'm getting total 11,242, which is exactly matching. So our week to date set expression is working now. We have mention all this calendar field here so that whenever we select anything in this fields the selections will get ignored and we will still get the output as week to date. Now for previous week to date we are getting 38,815. The start date is 7th so 7th of March and then it is up to 11th of March because we are only comparing first five days because today is 18th so for current week it is 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th and 18th five days so for the previous week as well we have to compare only five days so when we select these five days we are getting result 15,502 
but here we are getting a thirty-eight thousand eight hundred and fifteen. So why our previous week to date set analysis is not working? If you see here, our order date is coming as greater than equal to seventh of March, but less than equal to there is a number coming here. So what we are getting here is from seventh of March to whatever data we have. If we select all the date, then we are getting thirty eight thousand eight hundred and fifteen. That means our start date is working, but our end date is not working in previous week to date set expression. So the reason is whenever we are trying to match or whenever we are trying to compare any field with the result which we have mentioned inside this curly bracket, the end result of our dollar sign expansion must be of same format of our field. Here our order date is. In DD slash MM slash YY YY format, so this end result must come as same format as order date. So to do that, we need to here use something like this. So now you can see we are getting eleventh March twenty twenty two. So I will copy this KPI expression. And then use it inside my previous week to date set expression for end date. And now you can see at the bottom order date is now greater than equal to seventh of March and less than equal to eleventh of March. So now we are getting fifteen thousand five hundred and two. So if I will select dates from seven to eleven, we are getting result fifteen thousand five hundred and two. So now this is working. So make sure that whenever whenever you are passing any values in set modifier, or if you are using dollar sign expansion, then the result of that must be having same format as your field. So now same as our previous videos, we will try to create variables for our expressions. So I will say v week two date sales and I will use my value like this, which is coming from the KPI of week to date sales. And for my previous week to date, I will create another variable, and I will say v previous week to date sales, and the definition is like this, and then I will create it. Now I will create two more variables. Week to date versus previous week to date sales, and the definition will be week to date sales minus the previous week to date sales. Both must be having dollar sign expansion, and I can say my number format is something like this. And the last one is. In a percentage, this will give me percentage difference with compared to previous week, and the definition is my difference versus my previous week to date, and the number format is in percentage. Now all of this I am going to use inside my this table. So first of all I will use week to date. Then I will use. Then I will use previous week to date. Then I will use week to date versus previous week to date. And at last. I am going to use percentage one. And I will give proper label. So this one is week to date sales. And second one is previous week to date sales. Third one is difference. And the fourth one is percentage difference. 
सो होप नाउ यू लर्न हाउ टू क्रिएट विक टू डेट एंड प्रीवियस विक टू डेट सेट एक्सप्रेशन थैंक्स एंड हैव अ ग्रेट डे